welcome back to the channel everybody hope you all are doing well so today I think I only have like a hundred stops it's stupid light today so I'm gonna be done super early I'm gonna go ahead and try and make a video on how to drive manual because I know a lot of you have been asking for me to teach you how to drive manual in the FedEx truck um, <clears throat> if you already know how to drive manual there's not much else to it it does take some getting used to before I drove this truck I do know how to drive manual but just getting in in this truck is so much bigger so much longer that's the thing that takes getting used to um, is the size of the truck and once you get the hang of that uh, it just becomes like piece of cake it's nothing um, so if that's one of the fears that's stopping you from doing this job don't because it's 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 nothing really you got to be adaptable and whenever you become adaptable you can do anything don't let that be an obstacle that you can't overcome because you can overcome it um, so yeah thanks for tuning in to today's video um, and I'll get back to you guys whenever I'm done with this all right see you later all right check it out we're all done so a few things to, to know about these to learn about these trucks FedEx UPS I'm pretty sure we drive the same trucks yes my truck is dirty AF but this is what they give us this is what we do within a, in FedEx ground so don't mind any of that so just a few things uh, right here where your signal light is you know that's left that's right uh, pulling it out that's going to be your hazards to get rid of the hazards you just flick the signal whenever you're driving um, you, these are manual signals okay it's not like most cars where it just automatically turns off once you make the turn every single turn you have to flick it off so don't forget sometimes I forget I'll be driving for like 10 miles and with my freaking signal on because I forgot to turn it off and uh, yeah don't do that don't be like me and these are your your headlights first one is your daytime running lights and those are your headlights all the way up is headlights got the stick this bad boy right here is your windshield wipers got a few settings right there this switch right here turns on my light in the back uh, I honestly don't know what this one does if you know what uh, this one does comment down below and let me know but yeah so when you have this on to turn on your high beams there's a little button on the side that'll flick on and off your high beams you need to flash somebody bam just like that so let's go ahead and we'll run through the gears real quick so this is neutral when you can wiggle it around like that freely uh, that's neutral we're gonna go through first first is all the way left and down these are super long throws left and down back into neutral straight up second gear straight down third gear over right and up this fourth gear right and down this fifth gear and then if you want to get into reverse all the way to the left and then up that is reverse gear you need the clutch to change gears and start the truck whenever you use the clutch you want to make sure you press it all the way down remember like they say pedal to the metal to start the truck you want to step on the clutch make sure the car is out of gear and go ahead and fire it up and then let your foot off the clutch Remember to let your foot off the clutch only if the truck is out of gear first or else the truck will stall. This is what a lot of people consider the hardest part about learning to drive manual. Once you get this step down, the rest is like a breeze. So you want to make sure the e-brake is down and your foot is on the brake. You got to press down the clutch all the way, select first gear. Then slowly, slowly, slowly ease off the clutch until the truck starts rolling forward. Once you start rolling, you have successfully engaged the truck into first gear and you can slowly let off the clutch. Never just drop the clutch unless you want a really rough start. Practice this step over and over again and get a good feel on engaging the clutch when in first gear. Usually on these trucks, first gear is very short and is just used to get the truck moving. Once the truck is moving, you can go ahead and press on the clutch, let go of the gas, 
and with the clutch still pressed down, move the shifter from first to second gear. Ease off the clutch once again and give it some gas. The same steps are used to change to the next gears. It's kind of hard to explain when to change gears in the truck because there's no tachometer. But you change gears when you feel like you have all the power you need from your current gear. So anytime you change gears, you must press in the clutch to do so. If you're coming to a red light or a stop sign, all you have to do is press in the clutch. Put the truck in neutral and step on the brake. You do not need to keep your foot on the clutch whenever you're at a complete stop. Let's say you're at your destination and you're ready to park. Your foot is on the brake and you're at a complete stop. The next step is to pull the e-brake and turn off the truck. Bam, that's it. For me personally, I like to place the truck in gear for extra security in case the e-brake were to fail. Placing the truck in gear will prevent the truck from rolling backward or forward if the e-brake fails to do so. I recommend doing this for peace of mind. Alright y'all, that's pretty much all I have for you today. If there's anything that I missed, or if you guys have any questions, leave it down in the comments below. Um, if there's anything that I personally can improve on, leave that in the comments as well. I'd love to sharpen my skills as well, so if you guys have any tips for me, let me know. Leave them down in the comments below. Um, so if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And that would me really mean the world to me. And I just want to say thank you for 1,000 subscribers. And let's keep this train moving up. Woo! All right. Well, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace out.